Hi, my name is Leah. And my name is Kristen. And we're physical therapist assistant students at Carroll Community College. Today, we will be discussing cranial nerve number nine, the glossopharyngeal nerve. It's a mixed nerve with both sensory and motor function. The glossopharyngeal nerve connects to the brainstem and the upper medulla. It travels to the jugular foramen and ends in the mouth, innervating mucous glands, the palatine tonsils, and the base of the tongue. The sensory division of the glossopharyngeal nerve receives info from the pharynx, the posterior third of the tongue, and the clotted salivary glands and middle ear. The motor division sends info to the clotted glands, the throat muscles, and the nerve bundles in the In order to test this nerve, have your patient open their mouth and say, ah, inspect the soft palate for abnormalities and identify potential uvular displacement. Phonation should be clear and the uvula should not move to one side. Open your mouth for me. Say, ah. Ah. Phonation was clear and the uvula was normal. Next, have your patient swallow and ask them if there's any difficulties with that. Can you swallow for me? Are you experiencing any difficulties? No, nope, that was fine. Great. Lastly, the gag reflex should be administered to the patient, and you will have the patient open their mouth, and you will be placing a cotton swab into both sides of the soft palate. If the patient does have a gag reflex, that is a normal response, but if they do not have a gag reflex, that would show that the glossopharyngeal nerve is compromised. Lastly, the gag reflex should be administered. Have the patient open their mouth and place the cotton swab to test the soft palate bilaterally. So here's my cotton swab with my gloves on my hand, and I'll put the cotton swab in the patient's mouth. <coughs> so the patient did gag, so that is a normal test. Um, a positive test would result in no gag reflex, indicating compromise to the glossopharyngeal nerve. Damage to the glossopharyngeal nerve can occur as a result of a stroke. And tumors or small cysts at the base of the skull can also put pressure on the nerve. Symptoms of damage vary depending on which brand of the nerve is affected. The most common sensory sim symptom is a loss of bitter and sour taste in the posterior third of the tongue, while the most common motor symptom is trouble swallowing. <laughs> we should do blippers. I know. <laughs> Lastly, the gag reflex should be administered. Have the patient open their mouth and use a cotton swab to test the soft palate bilaterally. So I do have gloves on, a cotton swab, and I will be placing this in the patient's mouth. Please open <laughs> wide. <laughs> Please open wide. And she did gag while I tested the soft uh -huh. palate bilaterally. We could do it again. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Well, you want to try it one more time? We can. Okay, we can sorry. That was... no, that's